Kaan, shalom. All praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim Kakadash, to my honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to the whole for elect is pushing his truth for sincerity. So the WEF advisor has the following to say Common people should live in fear. We don't need the vast majority of, of you. And this mind was already known concerning Esau is look towards the people man you know these people these people show you on the Georgia Guidestones how they really think and feel about the people about the the common people you know it says a right to be fearful of the future in which they will be made redundant according to the world economic form Yufal Noah Harari who said we just don't need the vast majority of the population in the early 20 21st century given modern technologies yeah man you know it's uh, the term that is actually also used is uh, what is it automation automated right let me see automated operated by largely automatic equipment so technology is actually uh, in in a, in a quick pace taking over all the all the the jobs which was before done by people which makes people actually uh, disposable Harari's extraordinary remarks were made in the interview with Chris Anderson the head of TED uh, published on Tuesday and represents the strong warning yet that Klaus Schwab's WEF is intent on depopulating the world and we've been uh, we've been telling people about what these elites are about man but it's it's it has a whole other dimension when they said they, they they tell the people themselves that they truly are busy with it so it says Assess widespread of anxiety among common people is being rooted in fear of being left behind in future run by smart people. Such fears are justified according to Harari. <laughs> so, uh, with a quick pace, we're going to jump to this. Man, a lot of people sense that they are being left behind and left out of the story, even if their material conditions are still relatively good. In the 20th century, was uh, what was common to all the stories, the liberal, the fascist, the communist, is that the big heroes of the story were the common people, not necessarily all people. But if you lived, say, in the Soviet Union in 1930s, life was very grim. But when you look at the propaganda posts on the wall that depicted the glorious future, you were there. You looked at the posters which showed steel workers and farmers in heroic poses, and it was obvious that this is the future. Now, when people look at the posts on the wall or listen to TED Talks, they hear a lot of these uh, big ideas and big words about machine learning and genetic engineering and blockchain and globalization, and they are not there. They are no longer part of the story of the future. And I think that, again, this is a, um, uh, 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 how you say, hy hy hypo hypothesis? If I try to understand and to connect it to deep resentment of people in many places around the world, part of which be going there as people realize, and they are correct in thinking that, that the future doesn't need them. <laughs> it's, it's, it's cold and demonic for that, man. You have all these smart people in California, New York and Beijing, and they are planning this amazing future with artificial intelligence this ai uh robots you see this very strongly being pushed japan this is one of the head places that is actually continually focused on developing uh, robots artificial intelligence bioengineering and global connectivity and whatnot and they don't need me maybe if they are nice they will throw some crumbs my way like universal basic income <laughs> <laughs> and that's what they want man <coughs> they want people to have one basic income it's like they they're gonna ration people man they're gonna decide what you get how much and when you get it man it's like you you become their controlled pet 
you know that that's the mind of this of these of these of these edomites man but it's much worse psychologically to feel that you are useless than to feel that you are exploited they don't care about your feelings they don't care Harari contrasted the 20th century with the 21st while forecasting what he said in the current centuries and the future econ economy is progressively diminishing need for human beings. If you go back to the middle of the 20th century and it doesn't matter if you're in the United States with Roosevelt or if you're in Germany with Hitler or even in the USA with Stalin, if you think about building the future, then you're building materials uh, are those millions of people who are working hard in the factories, the farms, soldiers, you need them. You don't have any kind of future without them. So the mind the mind is very, very clear. The same thing as you look at the the the, um, the propaganda, the propaganda um, uh, entertainment industry. People are being used to blind others, to lure them towards destruction. But when, when they have fulfilled the job, most of them are not needed, you know. Now fast forward in the early 21st century, 21st century, um, when we just don't need the vast majority of the population, the WF advisor concluded, because, because the future is about developing more and more sophisticated technology like artificial intelligence. Da, 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 da. Most people don't contribute anything to that except perhaps for their, for their data. And whatever people are still doing which is useful, these technologies increasingly will make redundant and will make it possible to replace these people. And I hope I also wanted to show, but I'm not going to play it because... YouTube being on some some mad some mad folly shit. They decriminalizing dealing with children, man. So we we are truly we are truly living in an empire where the wicked is ruling, man. The wicked is ruling, and if you hear these words, you just listen to what these these creatures are saying, man. This is, let's go to some scriptures, man. That's why it is key for the Lord to come back and to bring judgment upon them, man. The book of Psalms 94, verse 1. O Yahweh, power, to whom vengeance belongeth. O power, to whom vengeance belongeth. Show thyself. Lift up thyself and judge the earth. Render a reward to the proud. And these creatures are proud. It is truly pride to speak in a way like, we don't need the mass majority of the people. Technology is going to replace you. So you, there's no problem with actually taking you people out. You, you don't have to exist. That's what the devil is saying, man. Lord, how long shall the shall the wicked, uh, uh, how long shall the wicked triumph? How long are they going to be in this estate, speaking these things, you know, doing these things, executing it? Because this is not merely saying it. These people are in, in places of power, so they plot and they execute these things, man. They're reducing the population by the way of food. They're reducing the population by the way of spraying them with all type of chemtrails, by the medication, by the miseducation system, completely destroying the people's might by, by targeting you on, on any way that you can imagine upon this earth. They're destroying the people, man. How long shall they utter and speak hard things and all the workers of iniquity boast themselves? That's their mind, man. They boast, they boast in the evil, man. They boast in their evil about what they do towards the people, man. You got miseducation, uh, 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 abortion clinics. You got you got those that are turning turning boys into girls and girls being turned into boys. The normalization of homosexuality. The new the new thing which we've been mentioning is the allowing of pedosexuals. They're trying to allow them also in in the, in the LGBTQ. So we're living in we're living in a, in a in a mad crazy world, man. In a mad crazy world, and that's why we understand that the Lord needs to come back. The Lord needs to come back and to bring judgment upon this upon this wicked empire, on these wicked people, man. Habakkuk one and two, O Lord, how long shall I cry and will thou not hear? Even cry unto thee of violence and thou wilt not save. Yeah, because our 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 teachings is edification towards them that are appointed to be built up and to understand what is taking place in this present time. But it's also a supplication begging towards the Most High to end, to end this evil, man. 
we don't we don't want to we don't want to exist we don't want to survive meaning in the spirit of surviving in the empire that is this giving to evil people waxing birds upon this earth others are so desensitized to the evil that they don't even care about it they contribute unto the evil the book of psalms chapter 7 verse 9 oh let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end but establish the just for the righteous power try the hearts and reigns yeah we want we want this wicked empire to be taken down and the righteous kingdom to be established man we the children of israel in the high seat ruling and controlling the earth governing the earth in righteousness sake to the holy spirit of the most high the doctrine of the most high that's the that's the world we're looking after man that's the world we're looking for but the rest of the people is just conforming onto the ways of this world and they want this wicked empire to continue it says why does that why does thou show me iniquity and cause me to behold grievance for spoiling and death and violence are before me and there that are rise up strife and contention that's 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 these elites man you know the 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 secret council them that are going into their summit the g20 the bilderberg meetings you know this the secret the secret meetings where they where they discuss the fate of the of the of the people of the humanity where they decide if you if you are if you are valuable or if you're disposable that's the mind of these elites man and they don't care they don't care about you the book of john chapter 8 verse 44 ye are of your father the devil and the lust of your father as ye will do he was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him when he speaketh a lie, speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. And that's what they are. They're liars. They're deceitful workers upon this earth. They lie, they cheat, they deceive, and they murder people, man. They have joy in doing the evil, but they hate the righteous, man. That's their spirit. You know, and if you might think that a, that an Edomite, one of these devils, is doing something good, you better watch them very closely because they are not created. They are not programmed to do good, man got many people saying yeah but there's a philanthropist the man the man is pumping money in trying to change and improve things that's that's not their intent man that is not their intent it says here the book of uh, Sirach chapter 14 starting at verse 5 he that is evil to himself to whom will he be good he shall not take pleasure in his goods these people don't even care about their own nation man they don't even care about their own Edomite people man they destroy them. They deem them as poor white trash. They just they they, they they steal from them. They tax them to death. You know. They don't care about their own people, man. So let's not even begin about how they look at the children of Israel, man. The hate that they have towards us is is, is which 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 cannot which cannot express how much hate and how they look at our people, man. You know. They don't care about you. So, going on, and not even not even their own true family members, man. These these are the types that will sacrifice their own family members for gain. You know, there is none worse than he that envied himself, and this is the recompense of his wickedness. Yeah, because the Lord the Lord is going to bring everything into judgment. Everything that they do is going to be brought into judgment. So when you when you're walking in the spirit like that, you're showing in the flesh, hate, corruption, destruction, lies, deceit. Guess what? The Lord will bring judgment upon you, man. It says the book of Galatians chapter six verse seven: Be not deceived; the Most High is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. But their mind, their minds, like they don't fear. The mind, the mind of these creatures of an Edomite is without fear towards the Creator. They don't fear the Creator. They don't, they don't fear a higher power. So in their mind, they convince themselves that nothing is going to happen. The book of Psalms 52, verse, uh, verse 1. Why boastest thou thyself in mischief, O mighty man? The goodness of the Most I endured continually. Thy tongue defies that mischief. Only the words that they speak the way how they how they justify taking taking out masses of people because of the production and the and the and the creation the development of of a certain technology 
like a sharp razor working deceitfully, that love is evil more than good and lying rather than to speak righteous. They, they, they lie, they, they deceive, they can look you in the eyes and just tell you that something is good for you while it is destroying you. That, this, is, this is the spirit of the devil, man. They're deceitful, they're, they're liars, they're scum, man. You know? It says, Thou lovest all devouring words, O thou, thou, oh, thou deceitful tongue. And it's a deceitful tongue, man. Lying is the nature, man. Lying is the nature. Let me see where the scripture is. It's in 54. Uh, Psalm 60, 36, 63. Yeah. The transgression of the wicked say it within my heart that there is no fear of the most high before his eyes. So they don't fear the Lord, man. These people... <laughs> They don't, they don't fear Yahweh Ba Shai. They just do things without any form of fear towards the Lord. And as they and as they say all those wicked things, their minds like, well, nothing happened unto me, so I'm just gonna continue doing what I always did. Like, guess what, man? The Lord, the Lord is about to bring judgment. And he's using, he's using his prophets to tell these people what is going to happen. We tell them continually. We tell them continually, but in their pride, they think like, "Look at them again. There, they, they got the prophets again. They got, they, they got the the workers of the Most High again. They don't care." The Book of Ecclesiastes, chapter eight, verse eleven. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the hearts of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Yeah, because the Lord, the Lord, the Lord decides the time and place when He brings judgment upon people, man. But understand, the Lord will bring judgment. It's just a matter of when the Lord will do it. It's not if the Lord will do it, it's when the Lord will do it. But these people are so proud because they've been doing evil upon this earth for quite some time. Now they convince themselves that the Lord is not going to do it, man. You know, there's a scripture saying, the Lord, the Lord will not. What is the scripture saying? The Lord will not. The Lord says everything, man. This is their mind. It says here, uh, here this, this is their mind. After when, they, when they murder and slay all these people here, Psalms 94 verse 5, they break in pieces thy people, starting with the, the children of Israel, the Hebrews, Israelites, the Negroes, Latinos, and the native Indians, O Yahweh, and afflict thine heritage. Yeah, because they tread upon our people, man. If you look at what they do towards the Negroes, Latinos, and the native Indians, you understand how they completely are, are, are targeting the children of Israel, man. You got the prison system. You got you got the, the gang violence music. You got the abortion clinics. You got the food that is being used and, and, and utilized as a weapon against our people. You have pharmaceutical, the pharmaceutical industry. Anything, everything upon this earth, man. Drugs, cocaine, everything is being is being established in a way to completely destroy our people man <coughs> and most of our people don't understand so they contribute onto the destruction they're just they're just the end product of the devil of a deceitful ruler upon this earth man and they're trying to tell your people the right path they show hate and that's why that's why the lord says two-thirds of the nation of israel is going to be completely destroyed man because they're sick they're sick in the head and they can't be healed they don't want to be healed they think they're in a good case it says they slay the widow and the stranger and murder the fatherless this is what they do man they destroy everything man man woman kids everything is being completely destroyed by these elites man and this is their mind yet they say the lord shall not see neither shall the power of jacob regard it because we worship the power of abraham isaac and jacob we have the holy highest creator man the rest of these nations only has as idols man you know, so the Lord, the Lord is going to bring judgment upon these on on these on these idiots, man, for the crimes that they commit towards towards us, man. So back in the book of Galatians, chapter six, verse seven, be not deceived; the Most High is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So if you occupied and plotting, coming up with justifications for for taking out huge amounts of people, you go, you go, you you, you say they're redundant. 
because of the, te the, the development of AI and all type of technologies. The Lord sees it, man. And the Lord sees and, and knows exactly how you are taking out people, man. And you're not allowed to take out these people, man. The Lord didn't give, you know, any... No one received... Um, what is it? Galatians 6? Genesis slag. Genesis 6 and 9, or was it 9 and 6? 9 and 6. The book of Genesis, chapter 9, verse 6. Whoso sheddeth man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed for the image of the most high made he man. So if you if you take out people, man, if you do those things, the Lord is going to bring it into judgment, man. Don't think that you do evil on this globe and that the Lord is not going to, is not going to require it from you, man. The book of Colossians chapter 3 verse 25, But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done, and there is no respect of persons. The Lord doesn't care about your position. The Lord doesn't care about how much money you got. The Lord doesn't care about how much people you know. You do the wrong, you do the evil, the Lord will bring judgment upon you. And this is what's coming for these elites, man. Because they've been in the high seat for quite some time. And now they become proud. That's the mind of an Edomite, man. You know, they, they departed from the maker. They don't respect, they don't fear, they don't reverence the Lord. So in their mind, they become so big-headed, they think that they are the most high. The Lord, the Lord is going to humble, humble these wicked creatures, man. It says, for he that soweth to his flesh, murder, theft, deceit, shall reap corruption because you're walking in a corrupt way. This is this is not this is not no 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 difficult uh, uh, science or math, man. This is very simple. Proverbs ten and sixteen. Proverbs ten and sixteen. The labor of the righteous tended to life. The fruit of the wicked is sin. The fruit of the wicked is sin, and that's that's the the spirit they're walking in, man. They're walking in sin. And they have joy in sin. They have joy in destroying. They have joy in lying and in deceit, man. The book of Romans chapter 6 verse 23. For the wages of sin is death. Death is waiting for them. It's just a matter of time when they're going to get it. And they're going to get it on the most gruesome, the gruesome ways that you can imagine, man. The Lord is not going to give people a quick, easy escape, man. The Lord, the Lord is storing all their sins and all their sins has reached into heaven. They're going to get a punishment, a punishment which will be memorial. People are going to remember like, yo, hey, you know about the Edomites, man, the shit that they did on this earth, the way how they destroyed, the way how they lied, the way how they deceived people. And you're going to think back about how the Lord destroyed these, these people, man. I'm going to speak about it. But the gift of the Most High is eternal life to Yahweh Shai Mashiach, our Lord. So we're going to speak about how the Lord is going to bring judgment upon these, upon these idiots, man. Because it is the most high that, that judges, man. You know? Let's go to the book of uh, Psalms 28. And our prayers, our prayers towards Yahweh Bashim Yashai is that we want judgment upon them, man. We need protection from them. But we pray destruction on, on, these, on these clowns, man, for what they do. Psalms 28, let me start at verse 3. Draw me not away with the wicked and with the workers of iniquity, which speak peace to their neighbors, but mischief is in their heart. Yeah, they, they, their way of talking peace is like, we are developing new technology, the world is going to become a place where a lot of people is truly not needed, it's going to be an improvement, we we, we actually uh, transforming the world, we are evolving to a better place, a better world, there are less people needed. You know, there are less people needed, but it's it, it is a mischievous speech because people people are redundant in their eyes. People are just disposable in their eyes. It doesn't matter who you are if if you don't contribute accordingly in their eyes. You you can be you can be disposed. It says, give them according to their deeds and according to their wickedness of the endovers. Give them after the work after the hand. Render to them the desert. And this is what we pray to the Lord, man. We pray to the Lord that the Lord will judge them according to their own actions, according to their words, according to the according to the plotting and the executing on this earth. That is what we pray towards the most high, man. And the, and the Lord hears our prayers, he sees what these devils are doing. And there's a beautiful time coming upon this earth when the Lord's going to judge them, man. It says, But he that soweth to the spirit shall have the life spirit. 
uh, the cell of the spirit, uh, sow it to the spirit, cell of the spirit, reap life everlasting. And that's us. We're walking in the Holy Spirit of the Most High, man. We, we, we push truth. That's, that's our spirit, man. We only occupy it in truth, building of the tabernacle of King David, preparing our people, edifying them for what is about to come on this earth. Proverbs 24, verse 24. He that saith unto the wicked, thou art righteous, him shall the people curse, and nations shall abhor them. Yeah, that's, those are the people that are actually justifying, agreeing with Klaus Schwab, agreeing with this Harari, agreeing and being also on a level of, of, of being useful. People that are useful for these elites will agree with it because they think like we're part of the right side. But you're not part of the right hand side, you're part of the left hand side. But with you actually being, you're being delusion, you're being, you're being, you're being tricked. You know, let's get that. You're being tricked to think that you, you're going to make it, but you're not going to make it. <coughs> That's the deception. The deception is to think that the ways of the world is going to continue forever while it's not going to continue. That's the trick. It says here. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 9 Even him who is coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. And these are examples of the signs and lying wonders of Satan. The technology that is developing, the AI, artificial in intelligence, robots which almost look like humans, which feel like humans, which can speak and think or even surpass the thinking pattern and the things that people can do. Those are examples of signs and lying wonders. We're moving, we're moving gradually towards the mark of the beast, the microchip. Pretty soon people are just going to be introduced or being pushed to the point of taking this chip or they cannot even contribute onto the new financial system that will be established. You know, and if you look to Sweden, many people in Sweden already taken this, man, voluntarily. It says with all deceivableness and all unrighteousness in them, that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. Many people don't know the truth of the Most High, man. And that's why it is a blessing to be here, to know the truth, to have the Holy Spirit upon you, to be moved, to do what you do, to can, so that you can see what truly is taking place. You see the enemy for who they are. You see the estate that your people are in. The sweet and the bitter of, of this knowledge of, of growing and knowing what is taking place, man. Knowing the truth is not only sweet. Knowing the truth and seeing what is taking place is actually is actually very bitter, man. Because people, a lot of people are truly completely destroyed. Their mind is so far gone, man. They're so far gone. You study the minds of people. You study how people speak, what people do, what moves them, what motives they have, what justifications they use to do what they do upon this earth. And you understand, like... The Lord truly needs to make his quick second return to cleanse this earth from all these, from all these, you know, from all these la cucarachas, man, these roaches, man. The Lord needs to cleanse this earth, man. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 17, And I gave my heart to know wisdom, and to know madness and folly. I perceived that this also is vexation of spirit, for in much wisdom is much grief, and he that increases knowledge increases sorrow. As we, as we grow in spirit, as we grow in knowledge, as we see a brighter and brighter what Esau is doing, how Esau can come, you think about different scenarios. You, you continually occupy it in looking what the devil is doing. You continually occupy it in looking at yourself, like what, what is it that you should move? What is it that you should change? You're examining continually. And you make steps. You take moments of calming, easing your pace sitting going into nature thinking praying meditating you know a, a, a fasting you do all those things in order to keep yourself going because this is a race we are continually busy with fighting against these against these forces man you know here back in the book of uh, back in the book of second thessalonians chapter 2 verse 11 and for this cause because they didn't get the truth for this cause, the Most High shall send him strong delusions that they should believe a lie. And that's the estate that the people are in in this world. Many people believe the lie. Many people, many people don't even understand and know that the elites are truly occupied in reducing the population in, in huge numbers, man. The Lord, the Lord already said it, man, but he's using, he's merely using the elites by the ways of wickedness. Because the Lord, the Lord is the best of both worlds, man. He controls the left and the right. 
And we've been telling people this many a times. If we go to modern day plantation Christianity, they speak about the evil as if, as if Satan is warring against the Most High, as, as if Satan is running the earth and, and doing everything that they want like a, like a loose beast. That's not how it works, man. The Lord controls Satan. Every step that Satan wants to take and wants to make is being controlled by the Most High. So the Lord gives them space to do what they do. The Lord is giving them the space. But if you're not walking in the right spirit of the Most High, the Lord is going to allow you, your children, everything that is that you have is going to be destroyed by the government who the Most High controls. So the book of 2nd Ezra chapter 8 verse 1. And he answered me, saying the Most High had made uh, the world for many, but the world to come for few. This wicked empire was created for many. That's why you have the broad way in, 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 in Matthew 7. The broad way and you have the straight gate. The straight gate is actually us walking upon the spiritual tight rope. Fire on the left or water on the right and fire on the left. That, that's the world we're walking on. While the rest of the people are just walking, running and doing just, just any disobedient, a rebellious, lewd, epicurean way of being a death style that is being promoted upon this earth without any form of fear respect and reverence towards the most high they don't care they just steal they lie they cheat they laugh they scorn they scoff they do they do all the monkey monkey behavior which the elite is teaching them to do to hate themselves to destroy themselves you know to do drugs and you see these 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 idiots over here popping doing all type of balloons and doing all type of drugs these elites are just sitting back and laughing at how these how these people are destroying themselves man but we're not walking upon that path we are we are on the spiritual road man we look closely to what is taking place we warn our people and only a small remnant is going to take heat we only care about the elect we don't care about the rest of our people man because the Lord is going to take care of that. The Lord is going to take care by cleansing them and causing them to return through the, through the seed of the elect. They will reincarnate in the kingdom and that's when the mind is going to be established right. On this side, they're not going to change. They're not going to make it. It says, I will tell thee a similitude, Esdras, as when thou askest the earth, it shall say unto thee that it giveth much mold, whereof earthen vessels are made, but little does gold come it off. Even so is the course of this present world. There be many created, but few shall be saved. Only a few are going to make it. The most of our people, they are not going to make it, man. And there is no change in, in what is being written, man. No matter how bad you want everybody to make it, everybody to see it, it's not going to happen. Why? Because it's simply not the will of the Most High. And that's, that's the misunderstanding that is also in plantation Christianity. And anybody that is actually not understanding the sound doctrine of the Most High. The mindset of, we have to pray. We have to pray for this country. We have to pray for them. What do you mean, we have to pray for them? The Lord brings judgment. If we pray for, for, for if our people are amongst it, we pray for, we pray for them. We pray for the righteous. The scripture says, pray for the good, not for the sinner. We pray for them. We don't pray for, for, for the heathens that are being destroyed by the Most High. When the Lord is executing terrible works upon the heathen, we, we praise the Lord. You know? This misconception where they think that God is all loving and all caring and we're all equal and that we're all going to be saved if you just pray and call upon Him. I don't know what the hell these people are thinking, man. They still don't understand that it's our power. It's the power of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. It's our God. Our power is going to show them, man. It says, And for this cause shall the Most High send them strong delusions that they should believe for lies. So now, now people are in a state where you're looking at, at Sweden. Many of them think that taking the microchip is a, is a good move. It's improvement. You know, it's, in, it's innovative thinking. It's, it is a transforming, uh, 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 evolving way of a, a, a mindset that you can have in this present time but they don't understand that it's contributing onto their own destruction man it says that they all might be damned who believed not the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness so these people have joy in unrighteousness and the most high is going to give them over to the destruction man what is it in first thessalonians 1 first uh, thessalonians 1 second thessalonians 1 The book of 2 Thessalonians, verse 1, uh, chapter 1, verse 3. 
It says, seeing it is a righteous thing with the most high to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. And to you who are troubled, rest with us. When the Lord Yahweh shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. Yeah, because we are troubled, man. You got a lot of you got a lot of roaches going up against us, man. As we teach the word of the Most High, you got gainsayers, you got disbelievers, you got people that have a whole other a whole other religion trying to fight, resist the truth. They're fighting against this truth, man. You got you got you got you got scones that have joy in trying to hinder you in what you need to do for the Most High. Because many people upon this earth, they just have a prophetic life, man. They ain't living. They don't have no true purpose, man. They don't have no purpose. So when they see you occupied and dedicated in something, they they make it their purpose to to hinder you. But the understanding is you merely you merely a puppet of Satan to do what you do, and you will be judged for that, man. No matter how much joy you have, no matter how much stumbling blocks you lay for the righteous, you will be judged. No matter no matter if you don't believe in my power, you you have all you have all these cultures, right? You got the Arabians which believe in Allah. You got others there, Buddhism. You got others in Hinduism. All these creatures are continually occupied in doing things. But that shows you the hypocritical spirit, the mindset that they have. You know, they don't truly believe in their own power because God created all these idols for them. But they don't fear. They, don't, they just do things. Or, or their God, <laughs> the phony God which they have, justifies the, the evil that they do. And that's, that's a... That by itself already displays the, the 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 weak nature of their power, man. You got certain of them, their so-called idols, that justifies the same thing, the same thing as those um, um, Jewish, you know, those fake wannabe Jews, those Amalekites. These creatures, man, these creatures, and the brother, the, the elder, made a video about it. These 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 fake Jews, these Jewish, these these Amalekites, these 1948s, these small heads. They have in their own statues something that was written like um, if they if they if they have sex with a child, it is it is as if as it is as if you you um, you put your finger in your eye, you know, it is is it is not being deemed as as a as a as an offense or an atrocity or as a sin, so they just they justify to do all those horrible things pedophilia things onto children man that's their power that's that shows you that man psalms 94 96 verse 4 for the lord jehovah is great and greatly to be praised that's the highest power the holy one the creator of all these creatures man of everybody man of his chosen people but also of these heathen the lord the, our power created them it says he is to be feared above all gods because there are many powers man you got allah you got buddha you got you got krishna you got you got uh 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 Man, you got all type of all type of gods upon this earth, man. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord Jehovah made the heaven. Our power created everything upon this earth, and He gave every nation. He gave He gave their idols, and they bow down to their idols. They worship their idols, and they think that their idols are going to help them in the time when the Lord is going to bring judgment upon them. But their idols is not going to help them. So it says in the book of Second uh, Thessalonians, chapter one, verse. Uh, Verse uh, 7 again, and, and to whom uh, who are troubled, best with us, when the Lord Jehovah Shai shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. So the Lord is coming back in the chariots, which these people call UFOs. And the Lord is coming, he's coming with the angels, man. <coughs> and the Lord is coming to bring judgment upon the wicked. That is what's going to happen. And you tell these people whether they believe it or not. Look, man, we don't we don't care if you don't believe it, man. The Lord, the Lord says that He is going to do it, and in due time, everybody will see it, man. Everybody is going to see the things that we said come in the past. Where's the scripture, man? In uh uh angels. They're all going to see it with their own eyes, man. Here, yeah, Psalm 68, verse 17. The chariots of the Most High are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them, as in Sinai in the holy place. So the Lord is coming with all the angels, man. And they will come to bring judgment upon this earth, man. 
in flaming fire taking vengeance on them that know not the Most High and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his, of, of his, of his power. You know, it says, When he shall come to be glorified in his saints, the elect, and to be admired in all them that believe, because our testimony among you was believed in the day. Many people are going to see it in due time, man. The Lord, the Lord's going to cast lightning and, and brimstone upon all the wicked, man. Let's get that. The book of uh, Psalms 11 and 6. Upon the wicked shall he rain snares and fire and brimstone and horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. This is, this is your judgment, man. These people, these people love the wicked, man. It says, the Lord tried the righteous, but the wicked and him that loveth violence is lo its soul hated. The Lord hates these evildoers, man. He is giving them the space to do what they do. He's watching them closely. But the Lord has so much hate towards them. The Most High, the Most High wants to destroy them, man. But there's a time and place for everything. The Lord is allowing them to build up all their wicked sins, man. And when the time is there, we're going to see the judgment upon them, man. Ecclesiastes 3 verse 1. To everything there is a, re a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. There is a time and place for everything. You know? Everything that you see is going to be dealt with. It's going to be brought into judgment in due time. But you have to, you have to, you have to wait. We have to wait for the, for the time that the Heavenly Father is going to bring judgment upon them, man. We're going to see, man. <laughs> The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of the wicked is going to run all over the earth, man. Let me end up with uh, with this one, man. Psalms 58, verse, uh, starting at verse 10. The righteous shall rejoice when he see it, vengeance. When he see it, the vengeance, he shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked. So that the man shall say, fairly there is a reward for the righteous. Fairly he is a power that judges the earth. People are going to understand that there is a righteous power on this earth controlling everything when the lord will bring judgment accordingly he will protect the righteous you know he will protect he protects us man we're going to see we're going to see destruction upon upon elites we're going to see destruction upon all those that have actually been working for for the wicked and and we're going to we're going to behold it man thousands ten thousands of people dying left and right around you man but nothing is going to hit you because we made the heavenly father our refuge man we put our trust in him. We obeyed. We walk in his way. Our faith, our trust, our hope is in the Heavenly Father's mercy, man. We fear him. We reverence him. And that's what we show daily. Daily we are occupied in this. They don't understand. As they are daily occupied in rebelling and, and offending the Most High, we are daily occupied in looking at our steps. When we make mistakes, we bow down. We fear. You know, we humble ourselves. That's our road. They don't understand what we do. But they're going to understand when the Lord is going to execute judgment, man. It says in the book of Psalms 91 verse 1, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my power. In Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence, which is talking about the nuclear destruction, man. The Lord, the Lord will deliver us by getting us beamed up into the chariots, man which are called the, uh, the UFOs by these people on this earth, man. It says, He shall cover thee uh, with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Yeah, man. You know, hey, the, the scripture says it. Where was it? Let me get that, man. I believe it is in uh, as, as, the, as the hen. Here, the book of uh, Matthew 20, 23, verse 37. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets. And this, this is actually a repeat of all things that took place in the past. Back in the days you had, you had also many apostates, many people that didn't believe that they were actually uh, um, uh, enemies of the cross. And their hate was so strong towards what we did for the Lord. Or they were convinced that the thing that we did for the Lord was wrong. That they even they even tried to kill prophets they even tried to stone stephen got stoned you know many of the apostles got murdered man it says them which are sent unto thee how often would i have gathered thy children together even as a hen gathered the chickens under her wings and ye would not because the lord the lord is busy with a great gathering man 
the most high the most high works in steps the most high says i'm i'm about to bring judgment and then he established the prophets and the prophets are established to tell you what the lord is going to do and we the prophets tell you about the destruction that is coming and why it's coming and what you have to do in order to be safe from the judgment that is about to come as we speak as we mention as we explain people are gainsaying mocking scorning they have more joy in laying stumbling blocks. They don't believe it. When you tell them the truth, they want to include other nations in it. Well, I don't believe that God will exclude them and them. Well, you don't, you don't, it's not about you. It's not about us. People need to understand that it's about the works of the Most High, the will of the Most High. We declare what the Heavenly Father wants. So many, many, many actually deny the message, the gospel, the good news towards our people, man. And for denying it, you deny, you actually throw away your salvation key. And that's why many people are going to fail. They're not going to make it, man. <coughs> the book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord had not done it? The Lord does everything, man. When we sound the alarm and we let you know about World War Three, when we speak about famine, when we speak about newly created diseases, when we speak about the, 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 the military invasion, when we speak about a cannibalism, when we speak about how females are going to be brutalized and raped and, and be used as commodity, when we speak about all those terrible things that are written in the scriptures where the Lord said that he would bring, many people don't take heed. But when all these things will manifest, when people will be in the midst of all this horrible destruction, all of these horrible uh, 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 judgments, that is the time when people are going to remember and they're going to think back to what we said, man. It says, surely the Lord will do nothing, but he revealed his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. So the Lord is not going to execute immediately. The Most High is compassionate and merciful. He's like, okay, I'm, I'm fed up with this place. I'm about to destroy it. Tell my people to repent, return back unto me, feel remorseful and get right. If they get right and they're remorseful, I will spare them. If they don't take heed, I will destroy them. That's the message of the Most High. And guess what? Many, many still think it's a joke. They laugh and they scoff and they scorn and they're doing all the evil. Guess what? The Lord is going to give you over to that mind. The book of Isaiah chapter 57 verse 15. For thus say the high and lofty one, that's the Most High that inhabit eternity. That's the Most High, the Heavenly Father whose name is Holy. Separated from this world, man, because the earth is giving into the hand of the wicked. Job 9 and 24. I dwell in the high and holy place with him also that is of a contrite and, re and, a, and a humble spirit. So the Lord, the Lord is looking for those that have a contrite, a remorseful, regretful spirit when they make mistakes. And what type of mistakes? Sins, the transgression of the Heavenly Father's commandments. When you break, when you disobey, when you do things that is against the scriptures of the Most High, against the laws, such and commandments of the Most High, do you feel regret? Can you acknowledge your sins and then you, is, it, is, is there something inside of you that wants to change into walking in the spirit of the most high? That's what the Lord is looking for. And he wants humility. He doesn't want somebody that is proud and arrogant and thinks that there is no sin or mistake in them. That, that, that convinces him or herself like anybody that believes in God is actually weak and you're trying to find some comfort. Listen, man, people, people, people trying to escape the reality by making money, man. People trying to escape the reality by becoming famous. People, people escape the reality by, by having people around them thinking that they're something. But you will not escape the judgment of the Most High, no matter how much money you got, no matter how much people you got around you, no matter how much people you can use as lackeys to do your dirty job, man. The Lord will still bring judgment upon your ass, you know, to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the hearts of the contrite ones, you see. So that's the spirit we're in. We, we, are, we are healing. You know, we are quickening our people from the dead state, the dry bones. You know, not knowing who you are, not knowing your true identity, not understanding what the good will is towards the Most High, but still walking on the path of doing what the enemy wants you to do. Most of our people don't even understand how the enemy is continually targeting them, destroying them, reducing the population in huge numbers. Eugenics, man. Because their mind is completely conditionized in thinking about making money, boasting, thinking you're something, while you, in reality you're truly nobody, man. These creatures are nobody's thinking they're something, they think they're hot shit, but you're nobody, man. 
There's nothing you do in, in, in pleasing the Heavenly Father. The only thing that counts for these creatures is they please themselves. They own their own desire, their own joy, their own flesh is above everything. And they justify whatever they want to do unto others, man. There's no righteousness in these people, man. The book of Psalms, chapter 91, and but they will they will deem themselves righteous. I, or, I, if, or if they have money, they might give an, an amount of money to somebody. Well, I gave that person money. The Lord, Lord doesn't dare to look about that, man. The most I look at the spirit, the true intent, your heart. That's what the Lord is looking at. Who are you as a person and what are you doing for the most high? And many of them simply cannot even serve the Lord because the most High is not dealing with, 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 with these heathens, man. So the book of Psalms 94, verse, uh, verse 5. Thou shalt not be afraid by the, for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flyeth by day. So it's a beautiful thing to have this truth, to know the names of the Most High, to call upon the names, to have, to have the complete understanding of what the Lord is doing, who the enemy is, and how they think, how they think about you, man. How they think about us, man. That's why that's why we speak about the, the Jacob's trouble, man. Jacob's trouble is around the corner. These devils are going to come down with grievous wrath upon our people, man. And I'm talking about the elite. These basic, these basic Edomites, these low-life Edomites, they don't even understand that the government is about to take their kids, force them into, into prison and concentration camps. They don't understand the gameplay. This this is not about what you think that is right. This is about this is about what the elites. This is about what the elites are going to do, and they will take anyone down that is in their eyes a threat. That's the time we're moving towards, man. Grief, fear, torment, and tribulation is established to to be used against the people. The book of Jeremiah chapter thirty verse seven: Alas, for the day is great, so that none is like it. It is Eve in the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Hey, Jacob's trouble is around the corner, man. We've been warning the people about it. We've been telling the people about the downfall of this empire. It goes all in steps, the way how they create a, a chaos, chaos, chaos upon chaos. Order out of chaos. All of this is in movement, man. You know? But wait, people have to see it, man. <coughs> people have to see before to believe. It says, Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrows that fly it by day, nor for the pestilence that walk it in darkness, nor for the destruction that bays it at noonday. And I was yesterday, uh, before the Shabbat came in, you know, Shabbat Shalom to the to the Akim and the, and the few Akwa that is uh, sincerely listening to get, to get uh, the edification. I was watching this uh, this clip from um, there's a person that was actually playing a video game, uh, zombie mode, you know. And I was just sitting and looking at what what was taking place in the game, and uh, it's actually quite funny because the zombies zombies are actually walking quite slow, and and uh, these zombies were actually quite fast, you know. But the 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 mindset is the understanding of who who the zombies are in this world, man. The zombies are all those that don't understand. That don't have the truth or that don't believe the truth of who they truly are and what they need to do. All of them are zombies. You got you got different type of zombies. You got you got different type of nations that are zombies, man. You know? So you gotta be mindful and in the spirit of the Heavenly Father as you walk this earth. And pray that the Heavenly Father protects you against these creatures because they're very destructive. They mind their mind, they're gonna do things in the pretty pretty near future. They're gonna rise up and do evil towards you because they deem you as a threat or a problem or also in this in the system. You know, back the book of Matthew speaks about it, man. Then shall many seek to slay thee and think that they do the right thing. It says nor the pestilence that walk it in darkness, nor the destruction that bases it at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy sight, and ten thousand at thy right hand. But it shall not come nigh thee. It shall not come nigh thee, man, because why the Lord got us hatched. Man, all these things are going to take place. We're going to laugh. That's the last scripture that I want to bring out, man. As we're not planning to make a too long fit, but... You know, the Spirit just kept it going. Uh, the, book of Sao, uh, the book of Job, chapter 5, verse 19... He shall deliver thee in six troubles, yea, in seven there shall no evil touch thee. It says, in famine he shall redeem thee from death, and in war from the power of the sword. 
we're gonna face famine in extreme ways and we're gonna we're gonna face war in the extremest ways which we have never seen before people people need to sit and think about daniel 12 when it reads about we're gonna face a time which has never occurred before sit and let it sink in when when these prophets speak about the things that they saw in visions taking place in this on this earth this that's why many a times sometimes i sometimes i can be graphic with my words sometimes people might say like yeah it's too rough or too hard we're saying things people gonna die this and that but the thing that we do and the thing that i'm trying to do is i'm trying to display a picture in your mind with which you truly start to fear and like hey i need to get right with the lord that's what that's that's what the prophet did he was displaying he was displaying a doom scenario which the lord was about to bring and you need to look at it you need to visualize yourself if you got your wife or your kids in that situation and you need to understand like what am i supposed to do in a situation like that what can you do what what type of skills do you have to face those threats that are about to come on this earth? I just sit and I tell people certain things. So you see the spirit and the mind that people are in, and I understand why the Lord is going to take many people down, man. The book of Second Corinthians five and eleven, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord. It's a terrible picture that is being the, the, uh, portrayed by the ways of words, man. We persuade men, but we are made manifest unto the Most High, and our trust also are made manifest in our consciousness. Yeah, man. So, uh, Job 5 and 21, Thou shalt be hid from the scorch of the tongue, neither shall thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh, neither shall thou be afraid of the beast of the earth. We, When we move, we move in a whole other spirit. This wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is stabilizing our mind. We understand what the Lord is about to bring. We can see the manifestation of all things that is written in our book, the Bible, basic instructions before leaving earth. We have the manual. We, we, have, we have the script. The Lord's move is being played out all over the earth and we see how, how you have roaches moving, trying to hinder you. You got all type of scumbags trying to come close and trying to entice and distract, uh, distract you with all type of things. You see the beautiful gems that the Lord is laying and giving you. The chariots, I'm going to make a video, Lord willing, this next video. All these chariots are moving continually, man. The Lord, the Lord is continually around us, man. The Most High is continually around us, giving you the boost. When things happen again, Satan lays stumbling blocks, people being having, having demons on them trying to do things towards you. The Lord is working in balance, man. You go up, you go down, the Lord gives you jams, he gives you power-ups, he gives you he gives you all these things, he gives you some chastisement, you know, you get some correction, you see certain things, he gives you dreams, you know, again to boost your fear, but also to boost your faith, because that was the last one of the last dreams, man. The most high is about to bring grief, fears, destruction on this earth, man. And if you don't have a hatch, you, you're going to be finished, man. You'll be finished. It says, For thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. Yeah, man. This is, there was a 71-year-old 70, a man. His, he got mauled, mauled by four dogs, man. The spirit, the spirit is going to be upon us, but where they will understand that we in the right way. You know, we, 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 we are in cahoots with nature with the most high and anybody that is not in cahoots that is not the mark the tawah the mark of exemption upon him is going to be consumed man you know so this is what I wanted to bring out all praise to the most high Yahweh Ba'ashim Yashai Ba'ashim Ka'kadash Shalom